so the first thing is to make short hand made notes so the short notes are the ones which are very powerful for example since i was in mechanical i was studying some portion in fluid mechanics and a lot of equations are similar these equations i cannot while the time i am studying it is okay for me but after one to one to two days i am not able to recover and differentiate between them so what i did is that in the note section only i made a short note only for this equation within one or two days i used to simply check on them so automatically it came registered to my mind that okay this equation stands for this one and this equation stands for this one so like that you need to make short notes where you are getting confused it is going to help you a lot I write down the hard questions and scan it and keep it in a folder mainly the previous quiz questions and the test series this also i did a lot of the questions in the previous questions which were the pretty hard one and which were out of syllabus like questions and all i scanned it and i kept it scanned it i meaning like i write on the question i write on the solution in a paper and then i revise it and then i scan it so three times of learning happen in one single attempt there then you have everyday problems are must your brain must be used to it this is very important skipping doing the test for one week not at all practicing not doing any previous questions for one week and then going to doing it is going to reduce your attention your focus by a great extent because you must be practiced every day by doing questions the last month of your examination january reschedule a good sleep routine even though you had very bad sleep for months since i was working i had about 4 5 hours of sleep for the 6 months in the last month january i rescheduled my sleep to 7 8 hours and it was very helpful you must have a pretty good sleep to be focused in the examination and that difference i could see in the december and january mock tests also january mock tests were very good since i have i was very focused and after the lunch i was not half sleep and all i could actually focus so sleep plays a very vital role take care of your health at the last at last one small fever can end your dream this is absolutely true in the year 2023 I was preparing for the GATE 2023 examination. I prepared for about 3-4 months and did some questions and some YouTube classes and all. But in the last week of the examination, I got viral fever and all the hard work was worthless. So don't do that. I've been there. It hurts. Try to take good food in the last uh, months and even though you uh, do anything whatever you want in the entire year, for the last month minimum, take care of your health. Even one small fever for 3 days in the last week of your exam can entirely change your examination score. So be careful on that. Never underestimate the previous questions. And the living example is Alan Thomas. Never underestimate previous questions. Then, get used to gate calculator from day one. That is very important. While you are doing, while you are learning theory, while you are doing every questions, while you are doing test series, mock test, full test, do use the gate calculator. It is available in the internet. You can download in the phone. Use the gate cal calculator because you will be used to it. You will be used to using the functions, using the M keys, and it will be very once you get used to it, you can save a lot of time there and you will be confident in it. So that is the one thing that a lot of people get confused in the examination. So don't, don't go for that. From the day one of your preparation, no one is going to tell them, I am telling you, use the gate calculator. Always remember, analysis of tests is greater than test since it's not the final one and you can get better at it till the last day. And one more good question can change your rank from 500 to 100. And this is not, the, not just a raw data. If you go to the 2024 gates, statistical analysis in the official gate website you can see that from 72 to 76 marks 73 or 76 i think the difference is two three marks but the rank difference is from 300 to 100 from 500 to 1000 don't just leave one question after test uh, for example after the test you didn't get five you where you didn't get five questions and one seems pretty hard and you don't know it so you just leave that questions so don't do it like that go all in study the entire five questions because one good question can change your rank Till the end of the day, you can do the test, you can revise and you can learn a little bit more extra in that theory, which you already know. So that is the absolute meaning of mock test and test and analysis. Always make ideal plan and try to achieve it rather than putting all the reasons. Always put the target and irrespective of the problems, force yourself to achieve it because someone is doing it. You will, you are never going to achieve your plan. Like if you I always plan for a time which is higher than you, always plan for 15 hours or 18 hours a day. You are not going to achieve it, you know it, but always try for that. And sometimes you may achieve it. In my entire preparation, I didn't even achieve 16 hours like that. But I knew sometimes sometimes I achieved 100%, like 15 hours a day, I did it, one or two days. Absolutely okay if you have only do it for two days also. Because that counts. Since you are always aiming for that much level of depth, uh, sitting and studying, 
that means that you will eventually going to achieve 6 or 8 hours for sure so the aim is to always aim for something which is higher than you and an ideal plan for every day and the aim is to always attain that silver lining so always go for that and always try to achieve something greater than you can actually achieve so that is it this is the entire video so now i also explain the tips also so screenshot it keep it with you this is very important and i'll see you in the next video